The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. For Real Agriculture, I'm Kelvin Hepner at Crop Diagnostics School in Carmen, Manitoba, and joined now by Jordan Bannerman of the University of Manitoba. And Jordan, we're talking about beneficial insects, uh, ground beetles in particular, probably a, a species, or I guess there's hundreds of different, uh, different species of, of ground beetles, but uh, one of the beneficial insect categories that we overlook quite often. Yeah, ground beetles are, are probably one of our most abundant natural enemies in most of our crop environments. Uh, there's a very high diversity on the Canadian prairies, uh, up to about 400 different species. Uh, and almost all of them are good uh, generalist predators uh, feeding on uh, potentially a lot of our different pests. What would some examples of those pests be? Uh, ground beetles are, are very broad generalists, so uh, they really will feed on pretty much uh, any insect that they come across uh, that is an appropriate size. So some of our larger ground beetle species uh, really like to feed on caterpillars. Uh, this includes things like cutworms, uh, true armyworm, uh, Bertha armyworm, clover worms. Uh, our, our smaller ground beetle species uh, will feed on quite a variety of things. They'll feed on smaller caterpillars, things like grasshopper eggs. Uh, we've even observed uh, a few species uh, in, in kind of a petri dish type experiment. Uh, we'll even feed on adult flea beetles if they find them. Hmm. So quite valuable maybe in that sense down the road if we, if we find out more about that. Yeah, absolutely. Flea beetles are, are a really uh, tough pest. There's, there's not really a lot of natural enemies that uh, have a, a big impact, particularly uh, during that really critical stage or very early in the spring. Mm -hmm. Do you think one of the reasons we overlook ground beetles is we don't actually see them very often in the field? Yeah, so they're, they're very, very abundant. They're, they're far more abundant than most people realize. Um, but many of our species, uh, you know, because they are really only restricted to the ground, are not very visible during the day. And a lot of them are also quite active at night where we really won't see them at all. Okay. Would you find them in, in all crops or in certain crops that are more beneficial or certain parts of the field in terms of scouting for them and, and that behavior part of it? Uh, you will find ground beetles uh, throughout all of our different crops that we're growing in Manitoba. Uh, ground beetles uh, do uh, tend to do better in areas where they have access to kind of undisturbed uh, natural areas. Uh, so along shelter belts, ditches, uh, areas where uh, they have a little bit more protection, for example, for overwintering. Uh, and tillage is one thing that can, can have a, a negative impact on some of our ground beetle populations because they spend their entire life on the soil surface. Okay. You mentioned tillage. What about actual spraying insecticide applications? Are there certain insecticide categories that would be less detrimental to ground beetles? Uh, so there are a couple options, uh, at least when controlling some pests. Uh, Corrigin is a good product uh, that is going to have a limited uh, or reduced impact uh, on beetles. Uh, BTK-based sprays as well, uh, if you do have uh, Lepidopteran pests, uh, would be another, uh, uh, another category that would have uh, less impact. Okay. I guess the, the bottom line, though, is be aware of of these insects, these beneficial insects, they're helping you and uh, in factor them into decisions about when to spray? Yeah, you know, we when we're talking about natural enemies, we really want to just make sure that when uh, individuals are making pest management decisions, uh, that they consider some of the kind of long-term benefits that these natural enemies provide, um, but also the, the potential impact that their management uh, decisions and how they manage their pests uh, will impact those long-term populations because they are providing free pest control. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time again today, Jordan. Thank you.